All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a glorious Saturday morning. Nice day. Girls are outside playing on their bikes. I'm in the garage. Getting the motor in. So, me being the bigger guy back and forth. But the motor's in. Just a matter of getting the rest of the accessories, getting the transmission bolted up to the motor. Yeah, so kind of hard to video and put this in, but I'll drop a real uh, fast motion dropping the motor in, and then I'll uh, get back to y'all here in a little bit once I get the transmission bolted up and get some of the accessories on. Put y'all up there so y'all see me getting the accessories put on. So, stand by. All right, so I'll tell you, got a little stupid. So, I uh, got the motor in, had it in, trying to get the bell housing bolts in, nothing was going in. So I pulled everything out and I ran a tap through, you know, that hole, that hole. And actually the, the LS has only used that one, that one, the top one, that one and that one. I'm sorry, that one. That's all they use. They don't use the, you notice on the, it's missing that one. So anyways, so I was tapping those out, running the tap through them. And I, you know, I was this one and this one. I'm like, all right, take my time, get them tapped out. I actually ended up tapping that one. I don't know why. Just did it. Drop the, meanwhile, I'll show you step back and I didn't pull the motor out all the way. I just kind of pulled it up, got it to the side there. And so here's a stupid, my 20 year old self, cocky. Yeah, that's the tap. So I dropped this tool for the third time. So I got pissed off and I'm like, you whatever. I'm just going to grab the fast tool. Chucked it up in there, ran it a couple times, ran it all the way in, snap. So I have now welded three nuts onto it. I have welded my channel locks pretty much to it with no luck. The only thing that's getting it turning is a little punch, if it'll focus on the punch, a little flat punch, and a hammer. Ain't that gorgeous? I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a little time lapse of me trying to beat this thing out of here. Y'all might enjoy this thing. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. So what I did was, if y'all can't tell, it won't focus on that for some reason. Focus. There's the tap. And all I did was welded a nut on the end of it. On the inside of it. For some reason it doesn't want to focus on it. As I'm stabbing. It wants to focus on on that. It won't focus on it. I don't know why. Anyways, so what I did was I just um, I just welded a nut onto the. Um, sorry, I'm trying to set y'all up so y'all can see why I'm, what I'm looking at here. So what I did is I set. A nut onto the what well, a nut onto the uh dang I can't talk today it's hot so that's why I'm using the pliers onto the tap and then I just grabbed the nut and then spun it off so yeah luckily it came out because if it wouldn't have came out that way you know, I don't know I don't know what I would have to do it would have been 
Ooh. I don't know. But let's see if I can't uh, put 20-year-old James away because that was a little bit scary. I'm not even going to lie. So luckily, I only have two more to uh, tap out, and then we'll try to put it back in the car. Stand by. Holy Toledo. It's finally in. I finally got it in. It has taken me all day long to get it to this point. I fought the motor mounts because the motor mounts were custom made. They weren't made straight. So I've been fighting them for the past, I think, whew, three or four hours now. It's ridiculous. I've never had one take this long. But there it is. That motor mount was straight and everything was cool, but the one on the other side, that one, it wasn't straight at all. Got to make some modifications, so we're in. We're going to get rocking on the uh, accessories probably in another date, another time. We got, uh, it's fully in, so I can take the engine stand, the uh, engine hoist off. Take that off. Get us uh, a little bit closer to getting this thing fired up, guys. So, sorry for the delay. There it is. I'm going to get cleaned up. Play with the kids. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think about this ride. You know, we're going to be hopefully having some fun with it. So, again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Y'all have a blessed week.